everyone back here in the restroom, the remodeled restroom. Um, if you hear a hissing sound, it's a toilet. Um, I don't know, it's like making a permanent hiss, I guess. Anyways, so that's not the point of this video. The point of this video, as you see in the title, is pretty much a simple, very simple, not really faded, because, you know, fade is not simple, especially if you don't know how to cut your hair and have no real experience doing it. So uh, this is pretty basic for the beginner. We're going to use two things. We're going to use our clipper. We've got a whole uh, set here. we got wall, magic star, or magic clip five star. And then we're going to use these, the hair pins, as uh, recently seen on Shark Tank. And shout out to the company of Hairpin to uh, for getting approved of their, you know, uh, you know, go to Shark Tank and you ask for the sharks if they want to stake in it, and you know, it got accepted. So yeah. Okay, so on the sides, we're going to use a. Uh, we're going to keep it fairly simple. Probably use like a number four on the top of the sides. And then probably just on the bottom half, we're gonna use a three. Real simple, you can go longer, you can go shorter up to, if you don't want to fade it, like, you know, a three and a two, a four and a six, or excuse me, four and a three that I'm gonna use, or six and a five, whatever. And then for the top, we're gonna use head, these hairpins. And I've done a video on hairpin before. Uh, they have two, three, and four inches on their basic kit. And they just came out with a new kit. It actually is going to make your hair even longer if you want a five and a six inch kit which is completely awesome because my hair is just above six inches in length and i want to just give it the ever so slight trim i don't want to take a lot off so now that they came out with the new with the new uh new lengths it's perfect so before we get to the cutting i want to show you how these things work let's uh take for example let's just use five inches for an example here you're going to put it between your hands like this or your fingers and of course, it's always easier to have someone help you, but if you're doing it yourself, it's still pretty easy. It just takes a couple, a couple tries to get the hang of it. You're gonna see it's gonna want the curve towards your head. You don't want the flat side because it makes it hard to grip, and you know it's just not the same. So here we are. You're gonna grab your hair like this, and boom. See where it's at? Your the fin is laying on your hair, and then as you can see, the top is right here, and you're gonna clip it off with either a scissors or a trimmer, whatever gets the job done. Also, if you're interested in these uh, these cool guys, I'm gonna give you a link and a discount code in the bio, or excuse me, in the description below, uh, Lando10, you know, the name of my channel, Lando10. Um, no skipping, no space bars or anything. Again, Lando10, and you'll get yourself a uh, little bit of a discount if you wanna try these out. So we're gonna go in with the number four, and we're not gonna, see, we're gonna part our hair like this, find your natural line. We're not gonna go straight in like this, all the way up until it cuts it. We're gonna hit the natural line around the corner where the top and the sides meet, and we're gonna flick out at the top. So instead of straight in like this, we're gonna do this and flick out at the top. I already did a little bit because I'm a dummy and accidentally hit, did not hit record. So we're gonna get the rest of Again, not straight in. Here we go. See? Flick out towards the top. And then we're going to get the other side and then we're going to hit the back. Now we're going to take our mirror. And this is the trickiest part, without it, the most difficult part of the haircut usually. Turn around. And yeah, we're gonna go for it. Kind of like playing video games on inverted controllers, and you gotta get a little used to it first. Now we're done with the four around. Now the lower part of the hair, or lower middle, just b below the four. We're gonna go around with number three. So here we go.
You can hear it cutting, but it's just an ever so slight trim for my uh, current hair length. Again, I like to flick out just a little, just in case it leaves a little bit of a hard line. It shouldn't once it gets to a higher length, like above three, but never mind. All right, now here's where the real fun part comes in. If I didn't get everything, I'll just go back and fix it up after this part. But here we're gonna show you how to use the fin. Six inches is what I'm gonna go for. Now, as I was playing with my hair, trying to get this length, I realized if you have longer hair than six inches, and maybe you want it a little longer, look, you can lift up your hair, and let's say your hair was about an inch or two longer. You don't necessarily have to cut it where the blue you know where the flat part is you can still go above it like say for example let me get my hair in position here see how it's just above the six inch mark if i wanted to cut it right here just barely giving it a trim i could do that um you don't necessarily need scissors scissors you don't need a you can use a trimmer you can use a beard trimmer just scissors but here we go here we go, we're uh, getting it with, now because it's a little difficult to cut with your non-dominant hand, this is my dominant hand, or a little more difficult to control things with your non-dominant hand, for example, if I already use it with my right hand, I can get it no problem, because I'm not used to using my left hand. It's a little bit more of a you know, funny task, but here we go, I'm gonna show you with scissors first. I'm probably not gonna, I just want to have a so slight trim, so I'm probably not gonna hit the flat mark, like I was saying. You don't have to, so just take like some scissors. Forgive me, these scissors are really old, so they're not all that great. I don't know if you're able to see the hair falling. So, if you do have a little bit of trouble with that, we got something a lot easier. It'd probably be a lot easier to use your trimmer, because you don't need your you know, your power of your fingers to, to uh, you know, try to get as much power as much as possible to your uh, scissors. So, this already has power. Here we go, watch. And you can see a little bit has trimmed, and you're gonna just do that throughout the length of your hair. Again, I'm just going for ever so slight trim. I'm trying to grow up my hair as long as possible, but of course you need a healthy trim here and there. See? And you're just going to continue to do that throughout all your hair, depending on what size you got. I'll show you one more example. And you just continue to do that again throughout your hair the whole way until you're happy with your desired length. Again, it takes a little bit, a couple tries to get used to, but you're gonna get it just fine eventually, within just a few tries, really. And again, it'll probably be easier if you have a trimmer or a beard clipper, of course, if you have someone else to do it for you. So now I'm just gonna continue to do it. So possibly the trickiest part of really the haircut is trying to line yourself up as much as possible in the back. Um, Again, it does take a little bit of practice if you have the, if you feel like you have the uh, courage to do it, then go for it. If not, then by all means, just skip it and wait till you hit your uh, next barber or salon appointment or whatever. So I'm gonna try it here on camera. You know, I've been cutting my hair off and on for the past 10 years, so it does come a little bit easier once you get used to it again, obviously, because practice makes perfect, right? So, yeah. Okay, so I just gave myself a little slight trim on the top, as you guys seen, because I'm trying to let my hair grow. Sides, I feel like the lighting is not the best. Probably should have brought out some extra lighting. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wash off so you can see all this hair. Itchy, shower off, style my hair, show you guys the uh here's the end result after I showered, you know, cleaned up, styled my hair.
looks shorter on top than it actually is. Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed it. Again, a four and a three, just above six inches on the top because I didn't exactly cut the line. Um, comes with a little guide just in case you want a little more uh, information on how to use it, a little hair chart. Uh, the one I got was around $24.99, the pack, the five pack. And then this is the original that comes with the two, three, and four inches, which is what, $15, I guess, $14.95, I think. But uh, again, shout out to Hairpin for being gracious enough to send me a, a pack of the five piece kit to cut my hair as long as possible. Really love it. I feel it's a game changer if you're cutting your hair at home and you don't know how to cut your hair in the first place. So, looks all right. Obviously not barber quality because I'm not a barber. But um, yeah, thank you so much for guys for watching, sticking around. Um, I say this all the time, commenting on my videos. And uh, yeah, if you guys want it, link in the description. Get yourself that discount again. Code LANDOPE10. So, uh, see you guys next time and uh, take care.